Hey, Cameron McKenzie here at Cameron MCNZ on Twitter. And I wanted to show you how you can take a project in UiPath Studio and publish it to UiPath Orchestrator. Now I'm just gonna take my Hello World application. I'm keeping it simple here. I'm gonna take my Hello World application in Studio. I'm gonna push it up to Orchestrator. I'm gonna start with an Orchestrator environment that's got nothing in it, just been registered. And then I'm gonna take that application, push it up, and then actually run it as a process from the cloud in UiPath Orchestrator. This is UiPath Orchestrator in the cloud. I just registered, so nothing set up here. It's a fresh instance. This is UiPath Studio with a nice little Hello World application built inside of it, which does nothing more when you run it other than say, Hello World. And I would like to take this application and push it up to UiPath Orchestrator. Now, the way you do that, if you've just registered for UiPath Orchestrator, you need to create an orchestrator service. And so there's this create new button, which I'm going to click. I use the add tenant option and then I provide a name like insight service and this creates the orchestrator service for me. I accept the generous number of run times that the trial edition provides. And when the service is set up, I click on this link that says orchestrator and it takes me into a new window. Now to quickly set up a robot and run your project from Orchestrator, what you need to do is you need to change from the modern folder to the default classic folder setup. That's the first thing you want to do. If you don't do that, some of the options won't be available to you. The next thing you do is go down to robots and in robots, you click the option to create a standard robot. Now you need to provide a machine name. The machine name is important. I'm going to go to, my command prompt here and type in who am I? And you'll see that it says I'm ThinkStation Visitor. That's because the name of my computer is ThinkStation and I'm logged in as a user named Visitor. You need to name the machine exactly the same as your computer name that you actually want to run the process on. So that has to be ThinkStation. Now it says, you know what? You're supposed to configure machines in a separate task uh, and there's no machine called ThinkStation configured or provisioned. Would you like UiPath Orchestrator to do that automatically for you. And so I click this button here that says provision it for me. And that just makes sense. You want um, the tool to manage and set that up for you. You can do it in a separate step, but it's not necessary. You need to provide a name for your robot. I'll call it Insights Robot. You should provide a description for your robot as well. And the type of robot is going to be unattended. I'm creating an unattended robot. An unattended robot needs to have the domain name and the username provided. Again, that comes from the who am I command on the command prompt that says the machine and name is ThinkStation Visitor. And you actually have to provide your password for that machine. That's the actual machine that you log into your computer with. It's not the UiPath online password, it's your computer password. But when all that's done, you can click create that creates the robot for you. It does need to be associated with an environment. Now notice this environment link at the top. The contrast isn't really high and people often forget about this, but after creating a robot, you have to click on this button and create an environment. And I'll call it the insights environment. And when you create it, it says, do you want to associate a robot with this environment? And I will say, yes, I absolutely do. I'll click update and now I've associated my ro robot with that environment. And also a machine, notice ThinkStation here, has been created automatically for me. There's also a default one in there which I'm gar gonna garbage collect. I don't like it getting in there and messing things up. I also like to go in here and just take a look at this installation and make sure that I've got one unattended runtime. I might even increase the number of testing runtimes as well, that, that's not necessary. But you want to make sure that you've got a license for the unattended runtime that you're going to run. Now the next step is connecting my local machine, in which I've got UiPath Studio, with uh, UiPath Orchestrator in the cloud. And that means starting the UiPath Assistant. And so UiPath Assistant is installed alongside UiPath Studio. If you installed the UiPath Studio Pro Trial Edition in the same folder that UiPath Studio is installed in, you'll see the UiPath Assistant. I'm going to click on that. I'll click on the cogwheel and from the cogwheel you can see orchestrator settings. 
And inside orchestrator settings, you'll notice that it asks for a URL and a machine key. The URL is just everything preceding orchestrator underscore in the URL of your UiPath orchestrator. So I'm going to copy that and move that in as the URL. Now the machine key comes from this copy machine key link over here on your machine. And so again, I've got a machine. It's got the same name as my local machine. It's got this copy machine key to clipboard option. I do. I then paste it in here as the machine key and I connect. In just a moment, it indicates that I'm connected and that I do have a license. And with that done, I can come to UiPath Studio and I can click on this Publish button. Now be careful, don't click the drop down underneath the Publish button, it'll be grayed out, it might confuse you. Click right on the heart of that Publish button. It'll say it'll try to publish UiPath Hello World and it's going to publish it to the orchestrator that you've just configured with UiPath Assistant. I'll click Publish. It says it was published. I'll go back to UiPath Orchestrator. I'll click on Packages, and you can see that the UiPath Hello World application is now deployed. From here, what I want to do is I actually want to run that process. So I'm going to come over to Processes. From here, I'm going to add a new process, and the process is going to be based on the package I just pushed up. I'm going to name it Hello World Process. I'll put in a little description as well, and then I'll click Create. And this now creates the process. With the process created, I can now run it. So I'll click the Play button here. It's going to say, OK, we want to execute your robot. Where do you want to run it? Uh, where do you want to run this process? We want to run it on the Insights robot. It is available. I will now click Start. The command is now sent. And notice, hello world runs. And that hello world is running on my local machine. So from the cloud, I've actually installed a robot where anytime I start it from the cloud, it's actually going to run on my local machine. And there you go. That's how you can push one of your projects from UiPath up to the cloud. And there you go. That's how easy it is to publish your projects from UiPath Studio to UiPath Orchestrator. If you enjoyed this tutorial, head over to theserverside.com. I'm the editor-in-chief over there. We've got lots of great articles and tutorials on enterprise software development. If you're interested in my personal antics, follow me on Twitter at CameronMCNZ and subscribe on YouTube.